In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Corpus Query Language, short CQL, for the first time in Sketch Engine. So let's go to Sketch Engine. And for this example, I'll be querying the Spoken BNC 2014. Now you already know the concordance function, and hopefully you know that in the basic form, Sketch Engine will automatically search for the lemma of whichever word form you type in the search box. So if I search for make here, I will end up with all the various forms of make. Making, made, makes, and of course make. There's also an advanced tab to the concordance search. And here we can specify that we would like make as the lemma, so all the various forms of make, but we can also specify the part of speech. So for instance, we could say that we're only interested in make, in make as a verb. So this would eliminate, for instance, make as a noun, as in a car make. In the basic search function of the concordance line, it's also possible to type in a phrase. So this would search make up your mind in the corpus. Or we could add a star here and this would give us anything that has make up, one more word and then followed by mind. Among others, make up your mind. But there will be other alternatives. Let's have a look. Make up my mind, their mind, our mind and so on and so forth. Now what if we were only interested here in pronouns? Well, this is possible using CQL, Corpus Query Language. Here we can do many of the things that we've already done. So we can add a word. This is what is done with the squared brackets and say that we're interested in the lemma make. For this, we write inside the square brackets, lemma equals, and then in quotation marks, make. This will search for the lemma make, just like the basic search did. We can also specify that we're looking for the lemma make as a verb. For this, we add an end and tag equals, and now we need uh, the tags that are used for verbs in this particular corpus. We can tick on, click on tags here and find that it's v dot star. We can either type that or we can copy it and paste it in quotation marks. So this will search for the lemma make as a verb, just like we did earlier on with the advanced lemma function. However, what we can now do is add some additional tokens. So we could look for make followed by the word form up. Let's try that. So here we have lots of instances of make uh, or making or made and then followed by up. What part of speech is up in this case? To find this out, we go on the view option and add the tags. Now we can see the tags that have been automatically added by Sketch Engine for this corpus. And we can see that made is obviously a verb and here in the past tense. And it's followed by up, which is labeled RP, and that's a particle. We can see that up is always a particle in this instance. So let's return back to our advanced uh, query. And instead of looking specifically for make plus up, for now we're going to now look at phrasal verbs that have make plus any other particle. So among them, up. Do that, instead of word, we will look for a tag. And a tag we're looking for, you might remember, but we can find it out here again, particle RP. Now here, we're now going to look for phrasal verbs 
with the verb make. Make plus a particle. We have make out, make up again. Um, you can find out which verbs we have by looking at the frequency. We're looking at the actual search, that's the quick. And we're interested in lemmas. We find that the most frequent is by far makeup, with 303 occurrences in this corpus. Next most frequent is make out, also very frequent. And then we have make off, make on, and just one instance of make down. So we might only be interested in the most frequent of these two phrasal verbs, in which case we can limit our search to make as a verb, followed by up or out, which were our two most frequent phrasal verbs. So to have an or, we need um, the pipe symbol, which you can also find if you don't know where it is on your keyboard, you can click here and Sketch Engine will insert it for you. So now we have all instances of make out and make up. We might also be interested in make followed by any particle except the most frequent one, which was up. So here, instead of having just the equal sign, we'll have an exclamation mark followed by the equal sign. And this means not equal to up. So now we're looking for make, uh, followed by a word that is not up, but which is still a particle. So tag equals RP. And now we find that we have phrasal verbs with make, but not make up. Now we know that some phrasal verbs are also separable. That means that there might be some words between the verb and the particle. Corpus query language enables us to model that. So between this first word make and the particles either up or out, we can add some additional tokens. So this would look for make, one word in between. So having an empty token here is the equivalent of having a star in the basic search form. Made that up, made it out, making this up. For instance, so we see we always have one intervening word between the verb and the particle. But we might be interested in having that intervening word or not having it. Both cases might be interested and for that we add the curly brackets, which you can find here, again, if you're not sure where they are on your keyboard. And we're going to put in the range of 0 to 1. So that's 0 or 0, comma 1. And this will look for make up or make out, or make plus an intervening word in between the particle and the verb. This will return more hits. Um, then we just had, we now have 844 results because we have um, the phrasal verbs that are not separated and those that are by just one word. Now, of course, um, we know that there may be more intervening words. And so we need to find a range that is most suitable to our particular object of study. I'm going to try zero to four and see what results I get. And here I have a range of uh, concordance lines, 1,232. And remember, if you want to go through these to get a good overview of what's in the corpus, it's really important to take a random sample. So that's what I'm going to do. Take a random sample of 200 concordance lines. So these are just some of the options that you have if you go for more advanced queries using CQL in Sketch Engine. Sketch Engine also has a so-called CQL Builder, which will guide you through the process of formulating a query and will ensure that you don't make any errors in um, the formatting. So this can be a good place to start if you're 
a beginner. This would be one token make as the lemma make as a verb. And if I wanted to add another token like I just did, we can put an unspecified token with a distance. This would be the unspecified token. The minimum would be zero, the maximum perhaps four. And the next token is going to be our particle. And here we had the particle up. And or rather, or the particle out. So we can now use the CQL, and here it is printed out in full, just like it was earlier on. And so we can run it. Sketch Engine provides a manual that is linked here and they also have a short introduction video to CQL which I invite you to look at if you're interested in finding out more about these advanced query options.